who hasn't shared amazing sounding notions and tips about health and the human body, only to feel embarrassed later on, when you find out the information was inaccurate or flat out wrong. It's time to put an end to these alluring myths, misconceptions, and inaccuracies passed down through the ages. To help the cause we've rounded up and corrected 10 of the most popular health-related myths that we've heard. Myth 1, Eating Too Much Sugar Causes Diabetes Contrary to popular belief, sugar does not cause diabetes. Eating too much sugar, however, can make you put on more weight, and being overweight increases your risk for type 2 diabetes. The best way to reduce your risk of diabetes is to watch your weight. That means not only moderating the amount of sugary food you take in, but watching your intake of fatty food as well. As for type 1 diabetes, there is no way that sugar, or anything in your diet can be a cause, because this type of diabetes only happens when insulin-producing cells in your pancreas are destroyed by your immune system. Myth 2, Brown Sugar, Honey, Maple Syrup or Agave Nectar are healthier substitutes for sugar. These sugars are no better for you than refined sugar, all offer empty calories and barely any nutrients. While unrefined sugar may retain some minerals such as calcium, iron and potassium, it contains them only in trace and insignificant amounts. These healthier sugars don't provide any significant nutrition over refined white sugar, and all sugars are almost identical in terms of calories. You should watch your sugar intake regardless of what type it is. Myth 3, It's good to go on a detox to cleanse your body of toxins. Detox diets, juices and treatments are hugely popular, but the very idea that we can take steps to detox our own bodies is a myth. From a medical point of view, there is no need for anyone to detox their systems, as our bodies are built to get rid of toxins way better than any diet or treatment can. If it were true the toxins could build up in our systems without our bodies being capable of excreting it, we would either be dead or in need of serious medical intervention by now. As such, there is no need to take diets, drinks or treatments to cleanse or detox your body. Probably the best way to protect your body's detoxification process would be to take care of the liver and the kidney, which are the body's main organs in detoxification. To do so, avoid processed and packaged foods like fries, limit your intake of sugary foods, fatty foods and alcohol, these foods will cause fatty liver, and drink plenty of water. Myth 4, Alkaline Foods Improve Your Health By Reducing Your Body's Acidity While the alkaline diet is generally quite healthy, encouraging a high consumption of fruits, vegetables and plant foods while restricting processed foods, the thinking that it can help to neutralize your body's acidity is a myth. Here are the facts. Your blood is slightly alkaline, while your stomach is acidic in order to break down food. The food you eat does not affect the way your body alkalizes itself or balances its acidity. Your kidneys and lungs do it, they control your system's acid-alkali balance and keep your blood pH constant. If they didn't, you would be seriously ill by now. Myth 5, Drink 8 Glasses of Water a Day Despite it being a belief widely held onto for its supposed multiple health benefits, including better skin and the prevention of gallstones, the age-old mantra of drinking 8 glasses of water a day is medically unfounded. While water is essential to keep you hydrated, there is no need to drink minimally 8 glasses a day. This is because water is not the only source of hydration, our body gets its hydration from the water found in fruits, vegetables, and even in juice and coffee. Furthermore, there is also no scientific evidence that drinking more water has health benefits for otherwise healthy people. That being said, water is still the healthiest drink to consume, you just do not have to drink 8 glasses of it a day. The best gauge of how much water to drink is simply to drink as and when you feel thirsty. Myth 6, Microwaving Your Food Kills Nutrients There is no scientific evidence to suggest that microwaving food reduces nutrient levels. In fact, if you use your microwave right, it's actually a better way to retain vitamins and minerals as compared to other cooking methods. This is because lesser nutrients are lost from shorter heat exposure, and the minimal amount of liquid needed for microwaving food simply stops nutrients from leaking out. To best retain the nutrients of your food, cover up your microwave safe container or bowl with a minimal amount of water. You'll be essentially steaming your food from the inside. Just remember not to add too much liquid or overcook the contents. Myth 7, The 5 Second Rule Have you ever seen someone drop a piece of food, pick it straight back up? invoke the 5 second rule, and then eat it? Well, the 5 seconds rule is a total myth. It doesn't take 5 seconds for bacteria to jump onto dropped food, it is instantaneous. Also, the chance of your flora having no bacteria is slim. To avoid getting sick, you're better off erring on the side of caution and throwing any dropped food away, or at the very least, washing it carefully first. Myth 8, 
you should always peel fruits and veggies. The skin on fruit and vegetables like potatoes, apples, carrots and citrus fruits are packed with beneficial nutrients. An apple with skin, for example, contains up to 332% more vitamin K, 142% more vitamin A, 115% more vitamin C and 20% more calcium than a peeled apple. Meanwhile, a boiled potato with skin has up to 175% more vitamin C than a peeled potato. Another added advantage is that the skins of fruits and veggies are high in fiber and can help you feel fuller for longer, which is beneficial for weight loss. There is also growing evidence showing that adequate fiber intake may benefit your digestion, improve blood glucose and cholesterol control. If you peel the skins, you are actually cutting out all these essential nutrients. So skip the extra hassle, don't let your peels go to waste. Myth 9, Public Toilet Seats Carry Infections and Diseases We all know that we need to wash our hands after leaving the bathroom. But many of us worry that just sitting on a toilet seat is enough to pick up an infection or disease. While it's technically possible to pick up an infection or disease from a toilet seat, the chances are very low. You're more likely to pick one up somewhere else in the bathroom. Plenty of other surfaces, like the sinks, counters and door handles, can be home to nasty bacteria as well. In fact, the intact skin on your bottom will probably invite fewer germs into your body than your hands, which are more likely to have little cuts and scrapes on them, and which you use to touch your eyes, nose or mouth. Hand washing with soap and water is the best way to avoid picking these germs up. Final myth, make sure you stay warm so you won't catch a cold. Stay out of the rain, or risk getting a cold, perhaps one of the most prevalent beliefs around the world, yet it's a bit of a misconception. Getting cold or wet does not give you the cold. To fall sick, you need to get infected by a virus or bacteria. However, there may be some truth to this saying, being out in the cold may indirectly cause a cold due to the following reasons. Cold weather allows viruses to stay longer in the air. For example, at a cold temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, the influenza virus would linger in the atmosphere for 24 hours, whereas on an average day in a warm country, the virus would just linger for 30 to 60 minutes. Furthermore, in the cold, people stay indoors and are often in close proximity with others, allowing the infection to spread easily. As for a bacterial infection, it can be spread via inhaling droplets that contain the bacteria. This can happen when an infected person around you coughs or sneezes. In cold and dry weather, there may be irritation to the lining of throat. If bacteria is already present, it may cause infection to the throat. While a cold weather doesn't directly cause colds, these are reasons why it may increase your likelihood of catching an infection and falling sick. I hope you will find my sharing useful. If you like the content, do feel free to like and subscribe. Similarly, if there are issues and topics you would like me to cover, please comment down below as well. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.